أعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يحده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتي الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهادي هادي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل دلالة في النار My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam and respected imam uh, we thank him for his introduction Jazawallahu khairan and I just want to say that I'm very pleased to see all of you here in Manchester, many of you for the first time. I'm your brother, brother in Al-Islam, Abu Saifillah, known as Abdul Qadir, um, a very small student of knowledge, somebody who can just try and remind himself and others. So I hope, inshallah, that uh, I'm not taking out of that realm, inshallah. Um, I've been asked to discuss the issue of Al-Istiqama, and I chose as a title for this subject Al-Istiqama of a believer. Let us understand first what this word Istiqama means. Istiqama is, can loosely be translated as steadfastness, uprightness, or it can be translated as being obedient to Allah, abstaining from all his prohibitions. So this is what we mean when we say istiqama, if you see that word used many times throughout the day today. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making istiqama something which comes after iman. All of us here in the room are not unfamiliar with the five pillars of al-Islam. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi said, bunyan al-Islam al al-khams that Islam is built upon five things. And then he explained each and every one of them. The shahadatu an la ilaha illallah, wa Muhammad rasulullah, the salat, the fasting, the zakat, and hajj. And then we also know that hadith of Jibreel alayhi salam, the hadith uh, where Jibreel alayhi salam reported to the Prophet and explained to him the meaning of iman. And we know that iman was belief in Allah, belief in his messengers, belief in his books, belief in his angels, belief in the life after death, and believing in Qadr, the good of it and the bad of it. This was explained to us, the, understand, the meaning of Islam and the meaning of, of Iman. Thereafter, there is another level, another level of a Muslim which we should, as Muslims, all strive to head towards. And that is the level of Ihsan. Ihsan, which is described in the same hadith of Jibreel, where the Prophet وسلم, described it to mean worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as though you see him in front of you. Even though you're unable to see him in front of you, you know that he can see you. So for every prayer that you pray, for every uh, sadaqah that you give, for every fast that you, that you carry out, Every act of worship, when you do it, you are conscious that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you. As though Allah is with you at all times. And this is the third status or station of a believer. And then there is a fourth station. And that is al-istiqama. Al-istiqama, which means to stay steadfast upon the pillars of al-Islam. To stay steadfast upon the implementation of the six pillars of iman and remaining steadfast upon ihsan, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your heart and your mind, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, being conscious of him at all times.
Istiqama is also something which we need in order to stay in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in an authentic hadith that the, all of the children of Adam will sin. But the best of them are the ones who repent, who recognize their mistakes and repent. In another authentic hadith, he said that if you were people who did not sin and disobey Allah, then indeed Allah would wipe you all out and recreate a, 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 a creation who would sin. And this is because, my dear brothers, Allah is al-ghafoor, al-rahim, and he forgives sins. Who would he forgive? Who would he shower his mercy upon if we were a qawm, a people who did not sin? But does that mean that we have the green lights to sin? Of course not. None of us will understand that. And this is where istiqama comes. Istiqama is about being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whilst knowing that we will, we will make mistakes and we will sin. But then istiqama is also about tawbah, repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is what we're going to discuss inshallah ta'ala in this small uh, reminder. The ayah in the Quran which our Imam read out earlier, I will repeat again, inshallah, with its meaning. Inna ladina qalu Allah, thumma istaqamu. There's one ayah which says, fala khawfun alayhim wa lahum yahzanun, in Surah Ahqaf. And then there's another ayah which was re, uh, read out as Imam had read earlier. So this particular ayah means that verily those who say Allah is our Lord. And then the second part of the ayah says, thumma istaqamu. And then they remain steadfast, upright, obedient in that. Then upon them, there will be no khawf, no fear whatsoever. And there will be no sadness in their lives. What an enormous verse this is. What a great verse this is for those who contemplate and take heed. For those who truly are, truly are looking for answers from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fix the affairs of their lives. Because when you embrace Islam, you make the shahada. And when you make the shahada, you say Allah is your Lord. And then you take on the five pillars of Islam and you implement them to the best of your ability. And then you understand the six pillars of Iman and you implement them in your lives also. You understand them correctly, not with any deviations or misinterpretations. But you understand them how Ahl Sunnah wal Jamaat understood them. And then you make Ihsan in obedience to Allah. And then you make this istiqama, and when you make this istiqama, this continuity of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, abstaining from all the prohibitions and uh, fulfilling all his commands, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that this individual will have no fear. He will not fear anybody around him from this dunya. He will not fear the loss of life, the loss of wealth. He will not fear the loss of produce. فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ And you will not find such a person depressed, having psychological problems. You will not find this person saddened by whatever comes in front of him. Because he understood the sixth pillar, the sixth pillar of Iman, which was to believe in the Qadr, the good of it and the bad of it. So whoever from amongst us says, رَبُّنَ Allah, that Allah is our Lord, then he has the ability, he or she has now the ability to make this istiqama and remain steadfast.